This morning, we value at North Carolina Farm Bureau, we value the relationship we have with the executive branch of our government, which is the governor. He was here yesterday. Certainly, we value the relationship that we have with members of our legislative branch, the leadership of the North Carolina General Assembly, and certainly our judiciary is an important part of our relationship because of the importance of what our Supreme Court, all of our court system, the Attorney General, all that, all that they do for uh, the state of North Carolina. This morning, we're honored to have with us one of the associate justices of the North Carolina Supreme Court, Justice Bob Edmonds. Bob Edmonds is, a, is from here in Greensboro. He's been at our convention before. But I invited him to come by this morning because I think you all know something. You all know that there's going to be a change in how, um, how the, the Supreme Court justices in North Carolina are going to be, uh, I don't know, Justice Evans' words, elected or approved or whatever the term is, but I've invited, uh, we invited Justice Edmonds to come by to say hi. He will be on the ballot uh, next year. And uh, we want, let's give a warm welcome to Justice Bob Edmonds. Bob. Well, good morning, Larry, and good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Bob Edmonds, as Larry told you. I'm an associate justice on the Supreme Court, and in fact, I am the senior associate justice, which means I get license plate number two. It's a, it's a privileged existence. But it's great to be here, like, like Larry said, though I work in Raleigh, Greensboro is my home, so I get to spend last night at, at home, feel like I'm playing hooky. It's a real treat to be here. And as Buck said, most of us do try to get right with the farmers when we're here. My wife and I have a family farm in, in Virginia. We don't get to spend much time up there, but we know the life. And back in the day when I was a federal prosecutor, I used to prosecute a lot of tobacco fraud cases, looking out for the innocent farmers. But those days are gone. I'm on the Supreme Court now. And people ask, you know, what's the job about? What do you do? The simplest answer I can give is, if it keeps you awake at night, we deal with it. We deal with things like who you can vote for, what kind of schools your kids can go to. Uh, just yesterday, you probably know there are 100 elected sheriffs in North Carolina. I think we had more than half of them in the courtroom where we heard arguments on a case that involves the powers of the sheriffs of North Carolina. So what we do does affect every person in this room. But as Larry said, the General Assembly has changed the way things are being done in judicial elections. North Carolina elects its judges. And I will tell you now that Supreme Court justices and justices on, uh, judges on the Supreme uh, Court of Appeals are elected statewide. So if you're from Cherokee County or Perquimans County and thinking, well, I don't have to worry about this one. No, I'll be on your ballot. So please, this does affect all of you. This year, this spring, the General Assembly passed a bill that changed the way judges, justices on the North Carolina Supreme Court are elected. If you have previously been elected in a contested election, as I have, because you elected me to the Supreme Court in 2000 and re-elected me in 2008, you get a retention election. And what that means is when you look at the ballot, it's going to say, Bob Edmonds for another eight-year term, vote for or vote against. And if you vote for, I go to Raleigh for another eight years. If you vote against, I get to come back home to Greensboro. Well, it gets even more complicated than that. Just last week, a, state, uh, a, a, a suit was filed in Raleigh challenging the constitutionality of this bill that allows for retention elections. So folks, I don't have any more idea than you do what's going to happen next. This case just has to work its way through the system. But I can tell you one thing, and I can guarantee it. I will be on your ballot next November, and I very much need your support. You may be wondering what kind of justice I am. That's hard to answer. All our work is out in the public. I've been on the court for 15 years. If I was crazy, you'd probably know it by now. But let me just ask, and I hate to do it to him, but Jake Parker and I worked together for two years. You can ask Jake what he thinks. I hope he'll say something nice. Please, Jake, I'll write you a check, whatever it takes. <laughs> but thank you very much for letting me be here. Larry, I appreciate my time. It's great to see you all again. Thank you.